So for today, we're going to be using a tea towel. So you've got about one minute to go and grab yourself a tea towel, find one from your kitchen, come back here and meet me for a workout where all of the exercise will be using a tea towel. Genius. You can exercise using absolutely anything in your house. Right, I'm just going to get this lined up. Okay, so grab yourself a tea towel, bring it over and we're going to get moving. We're going to start today by holding the tea towel out. I want you to try and keep the tension outwards so we're not letting the tea towel go floppy. We're going to hold it outwards like this uh, and we're going to go side to side. So a little side twist. And what I want you to try and do here is to keep your hips facing forwards. So we're twisting at the waist. And if this hurts your arms too much by holding it out, you can just bend your arms and bring them in a bit closer. But if you can keep your arms out and straight, hold it out there. So just start in a comfortable range of motion. And as you warm up, we're just gonna extend that a little bit further. So we're twisting around a little bit more whilst trying to keep the hips pointing forwards. Fantastic. Keep that going, we're gonna do a few more. We're gonna get nice and mobile today. Get a few more of these. Hopefully you found yourself a tea towel by now, you're back with me. Okay. Lovely. And then from there, we're going to put the tea towel above our head and we can have bent arms or straight arms, it doesn't matter. And we're just going to do a little side bend side to side now. So we're bending sideways. Again, we're just getting a little bit of movement into the spine, a little bit of movement into the waist. And again, you can just bend your arms if that's easier or keep them straight. Just a little side bend, stay within your comfortable range of motion. Fantastic. That's good, just keep it going. Fantastic. Side to side, just warming up the spine to start today. For those of you who have only just joined us, it's the tea towel workout. Right, take a little breather. So from there, we're going to have a go at doing a tea towel deadlift. So we're going to keep that tension. That's going to be staying for the whole session. So no floppy tea towels. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the tea towel in front of us here by our thighs, feet hip width apart, and we're going to try and we're going to have soft knees, so they're not completely straight. We're going to keep our back straight, and we're going to run the tea towel down the fronts of our legs and back up. So we're going down and up here. Nice straight back. See how my back's really straight. So we're not going to round our shoulders at any point. We're going to keep our shoulders back. And you should feel a really good stretch at the backs of the legs when you do this. So just go as far as you can go that's comfortable for your range of flexibility and where you can definitely still keep your back straight. So we're going to do another few more of these, down and up. Just keeping those knees soft. We're trying not to bend them too much more, but we're not keeping them straight either. Just soft knees, brilliant, the tea towel deadlift. Who needs a barbell? So nice working into the hamstrings here, the backs of the legs. A few more of these, lovely. Bending forwards, standing back up, nice straight back. That's good. One more. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to get our hips nice and mobile with some step throughs. So this is a time that you're definitely allowed the tea towel to be floppy for this exercise. So we're going to hold it down a bit like a skipping rope and we're going to step over, release, bring it back to the front and step over. So you can bend forward a little bit, lifting your knees, mobilizing your hips and just stepping through. So we're really having to lift the knees nice and high here. If you're always leading with one leg, try and switch it over. So you go with the other leg first, just mix it up. Good, nice little step throughs. Keep it going, oops, don't fall over. Lovely, little step throughs. Keep it going. This is start to get the heart rate up now. That knee lifting, hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit of warmth. Good. This is gonna gradually get more physical as the session goes on. At any point, if you need to stop, take a rest, just take a rest. It's your workout. We're just having a bit of fun. Moving with a tea towel. Okay, a few more of these. Keep it going. Lovely. Last one. Okay, 
So now we're back to the tight T towel. So I've got that tension out. We're going to do a front raise. I'm going to start with it here in front of my hips. With straight arms, I'm going to lift all the way up overhead. I'm going to keep my arms straight and come all the way back down. And I'm going to keep that outward motion. So I'm pulling the T towel tight the whole time. And that's going to work my arms as well as my shoulders. So nice, tight T towel, straight arms all the way up, all the way down. So when we get to the top of that motion, you're just really stretching those shoulders. You can take it back as far as you can comfortably. If anything feels uncomfortable, that's your time to stop. Brilliant, so these are front raises. I'm just gonna keep, keep going a few more of these. Good, keeping those arms straight. You should really be feeling this in your shoulders and the backs of your arms if you're pulling out that tea towel, keeping it really tight. Good, we've got one more. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to an underarm grip. So we're gonna hold the tea towel this way. I'm still gonna keep that tension out. I'm gonna do a bicep curl. So I'm gonna keep my elbows squeezed in and then I'm gonna push it up overhead. Elbows back to the side of my waist and back down. So we're doing this motion, bicep curl and press, I'll show you from the side, bicep curl, press and back. That's the motion we're doing. So keeping that tension pulled out on the T towel. And when you do the bicep curl, keeping your elbows squeezed into your waist. Good. So if you're comfortable with this motion, we can do that a little bit faster now. You work at your own speed, whatever's comfortable for you. When we lift our arms over our head again, that starts to get the heart rate up a little bit. Brilliant. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. You just stay working at your own pace. This pace is good for me. Good. We're going to do five more. Five. Four. Keep it going. Three. Two. And one. Okay, and rest. Right, so now we're gonna go back to an overarm grip. So I'm gonna hold it this way. I'm gonna still keep my arms bent and I'm gonna hold the tea towel just here over my chest. I'm gonna do a squat and a press. So for this one, if you want to put a chair behind you, you can sit back into the chair. Otherwise, we're gonna have feet hip width apart. We're gonna squat down, bending the knees, keeping the bum back, stand up and press up overhead. Okay, squat down and press up. And again, you can do your own speed. If you want to go slower than me or faster than me, you just go at whatever pace works for you. Squatting down, using that chair if you need to. You can do a half squat. You can do a deep squat. You just do whatever works for you, so long as you're up and moving. Lovely. Okay, we're going to do 10 more squat to press. I'm going to count you down, 10, or you, if you're going faster, you do more, but you do it for the time. Eight, good. Seven, keep it going. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant. Okay, next exercise is a bit of shoulder mobility. So we're going to bring in the triceps here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it in one hand, my tea towel. I'm going to flick it up over my head so it hangs down my back. And then I'm going to grab it with my other arm. And then I'm going to flick that over, up, bend my elbow and bring it down. So we're working our triceps, working our shoulder mobility. And we're also working our sort of proprioception a little bit, where we think things are in our body, where we think our body Body is, if we can't really see it. Okay, so we're flicking it over, grabbing it behind, flicking back over. This is one of those ones that some people might blow their minds. Keep it going. You'll get it if you keep practicing, flicking it over, grabbing it behind, and flick it over. And again, you'll start to feel this in your triceps and your shoulders. Lovely. Good. Oops, missed one. Just missed it. Good. Okay, we're gonna do a few more of these. Get those shoulders moving. Good work, guys. Whoops, flick myself in the head. 
The flicking motion is very important with this exercise. Good. Keep it going. Okay, last one. And rest. So next one, you're granted a bit of artistic license. I'd love to see your videos. So a lateral raise is where we take our arm out to the side, but we're gonna do a lateral raise and flick. So my kitchen's quite small, so I'm gonna come over this side. So I'm gonna take my arm up, I'm gonna do lateral raise and flick the tea towel. Then I'm gonna bring it back down, pass it over, flick it up that side. So you get that little wrist flick at the end. You can imagine yourself to be like a rhythmic gymnastic or something, something like that. Okay. So we're gonna go side to side again, just working at your own pace here. Trying to get the arms right up to the sides, but about shoulder height, not too much higher. So we get that nice straight arm uh, motion, side to side. Lovely. Good, good little wrist flick at the end. We're in 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Okay, bit of coordination now. So we're gonna go back to holding right at the ends, straight arms, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it so the tea towel is vertical, and then I'm gonna bend forwards, take it through my legs, and you can bend your knees for this one, back up, turn my arms around, through my legs. So I'm getting a nice forward motion, and we can turn this into a nice flowing motion where we bend forward, and get the tea towel through the legs, switching whichever arm is on top each time. Lovely. And again, the faster you do this one, the more your heart rate will go up, but also going forward and back could make you dizzy. So just stay with what's comfortable for you. Good. And again, we're going to do 10 more. So nine at your own pace. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Now we're going to place the tea towel down on the floor. So we're going to roll it up so it's in a nice little line. We're going to place it on the floor and we're going to do some step overs. So we're going to step over, but what we want to do is tap the toe so you're not putting this foot down. So we step over and then we tap the toe. Step over, tap the toe. And again, you can do this fast or slow. You can step it, or you can come into a quicker motion. Just do whatever's right for you, tap in the toe. So we're just making sure that we're balancing on one leg every time we step. Good. That's brilliant. So we're gonna do this for another 20 seconds. So keep it going, work at your own pace. You can slow it down, you can speed it up. Just tapping that toe, keep it going. We're gonna try and keep moving for the whole time. We've got 10 seconds. So if you wanna push it a bit, now's the time. Good. And rest. Last one for today. We're now gonna turn the tea towel this way around and we're gonna step forward and back. So this one is gonna be 20 seconds. I'm just gonna show you. So literally we're gonna try and turn our toes, forward, forward, back, back. And you can do whichever leg you want. 20 seconds, you can walk it, you can try and run it, you can dance it, you can do high knees. We're gonna go in three, two, one. So forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back. I'm gonna try and alternate my leg every two. Let's see if I can remember. Forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back. Good. Trying to lift your legs over the tea towel, your feet. So we're not hitting it. That's good, we've got 10 seconds, guys. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 